A man was charged for wounding a woman in St. Anne's. Teenager boy is amongst two charged for murder in Kingston. Supermarket robbery in Poros, Manchester. And many more. My viewers and subscribers, please like and share. Click the notification bell and also subscribe to the channel. A male customer service representative has been charged with wounded with intent after he inflicts several stab wounds to a woman in Orange Hill, St. Anne's, Sunday, December 4. Charge is 29 years old. The Marana Newland of Liberty Valley, Brownstown, St. Anne's. Report are that about 10.30 a.m., Newland was at a woman's house doing construction work when an argument developed with them. During the dispute, Newland used a knife to stab the woman several times of her upper body. The police were summoned and the woman was taken to the hospital where she was admitted and Newland was operated on the scene and later charged. His court date is being arranged. A teenager boy is amongst two people charged Tuesday the killing of a 16-year-old Tian Allen in North Parade, Kingston. Charged with murder is 18 years old Siobhan Lawrence of Luke Lane, Kingston. Is charged with a 15-year-old boy. Report are that Allen and a 15-year-old boy had a dispute. The teen along with Lawrence alleged attack Allen and stabbed him several times. Allen was pronounced dead at the hospital. The police were summoned and the attacker take into custody. They were both charged following a record of witness statement as well as a caution statement. Their court date is being arranged. Two dead were in custody after a Manchester man, a supermarket robber, four men in custody and two dead after a gun a gunman in supermarket robber in Porus, Manchester on Friday evening. Preliminary report said that about 7 p.m. Arm robber held up a supermarket said to be operated by Chinese national. It is unclear as what was stolen from the establishment at this time. But the gunman report opened fire as they fled the scene, hitting two people. Head of the Manchester Police Superintendent Shane McCullough said, a roadblock was immediately set up to operate the hoodlums. They carry out a robbery at the supermarket on their way out, fire randomly, and two people were shot. Based on the police, was quick set up a roadblock. Intercepted, he say, four men were taken into custody, while three firearms, an AK-47 and two handguns, and also a ballistic vest, was seized. Makala said, the police suspect that the gunman may link to a robbery earlier Friday at a gas station in Christiana. This latest incident following a robbery in Cross Key and not Patrick, both in Manchester on Tuesday and Wednesday. On Thursday, two suspects were held in relation to the incident. 800,000 bail for ex-soldier and gun charge. An ex-soldier who was reportedly found in position of illegal firearm was granted bail when he appeared in the Manchester Parish Court on Wednesday. Josh Campbell, a shop owner, of Dobson District, Manchester, was given 800,000 bail to return to court January 30 next year. Campbell was charged illegal possession of firearm, two count of illegal possession of ammunition, possession of dealing with ganja, and possession of uncustom goods. Allegation that on November 17, while conduct an investigation into an incident. Police went to a Dapson district where the soldier was seen and accosted at his business place. Police said the shop was searched and illegal ammunition 
vegetable matter resemble ganja, an illegal cigarette was found. The shop owner car was also searched and an illegal firearm was found with several live, live rounds. The ex-soldier was taken into custody and following further investigation was charged. My viewers and subscribers, thanks for watching. Please like and share and also click the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. See you another time I'm out.